Wahala no shele. Hey, hey. Do you cook me sentence to two years in prison? Like, seriously? The Federal High Court in Abuja sentenced Do you the Director General of the Pitaobi Presidential Campaign Council to two years in prison for breaching the Money Laundry Act. In a judgment delivered on Monday, Okukwe was found guilty of 26 out of a 59 count charge preferred against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Wow, this judgment quick. Or money laundry, not stolen funds. Wow. Ijoma Ojuku, the presiding judge, sentenced Okukwe to two years in prison on each of the counts. Wow, <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, not stolen fund. That's I'm just trying to uh, stress it. But uh, money laundry, because we can see, you know, if you can accuse other people of uh, stolen money, like the accountant general of the federation, that one we bat 150 something billion naira is what is being uh, is being levied against him. And there's this kind of a uh, bargaining, uh, plea bargaining now. That is to tell you that uh, yes, money was missing under him and we have not heard anything concerning him so that one is a different thing because it's a stolen money but you talk about a money laundry the one that everybody is aware you don't even need a, a soothsayer to tell you how it ought to be because tinubu himself confirmed it that it is my money that i can do whatever i like with it whether it is money is not a it's a different bargain mentality but everybody knows that that is money laundry in itself a day to election but what have you seen? You've seen nothing. So, like I've always said, if you are not on the good record of the government of the day, forget it. If they want to speed up judgment against you, forget it. It does not take anything. That's to tell you that uh, the problem of this con in this country is just a man-made problem. We don't need to be calling God and be saying whatever. And that's why God will be looking at us like this. So if they can speed up some cases like this, and the accountant general, that one, they are still... Rick Marolin, they are still going back and forth about his case. They just want to know how they are going to give him soft landing. And I remember when this issue of a uh, Labour Party, Wahala in Ogu State, when they said they sacked him because of money, this, because of that. Uh, one of the chieftains of the Labour Party, Unisa, Tanko Unisa, said that we should forget all of those things. That Obi is their target. That all this uh, doing a cookware, they are going back and forth with is not even the target, target and they are going somewhere. Wow, two years in prison, and hey, okay, let's hear what Nigerians are saying. However, the sentence is to run concurrently. Additionally, the judge said the convict is at liberty to pay a 500,000 naira fine on each of the counts, totaling 13 million naira. Of course, if he pays that money, he's already an ex-convict, and that is where they are going. Whether they are uh, going to use that against a <laughs> uh, Labour Party, but that is a different ball game entirely. That is Nigeria for you, Nigeria for sure. This is winch hunt, but Tifnumbu with two billion van doesn't even worth sentencing, right? Nothing would make us back down when will be entered he would revisit the case i think the man is above 70 plus 52 years uh that is a serious deterrent factor others must receive their judgment too if not this country won't change thank god for the uh persistency of efcc sorry you are a novice in the judiciary please go back um uh very well before making Compare or verify well before making comments. Indigbo, our market. What has that got to do with Indigbo? Well, uh, what is your problem with Indigbo? You're one of those who whose life have been clouded with tribal sentiments. It is possibly possible your kids are not even going to school now. It is possible you have not even paid your house rent. It is even possible you are trekking all around Lagos on foot, but Ndigbo is your only problem. Instead of you, to talk about bad leadership, corruption, and others, other evils that pervade and hold your country down, you are calling Ndigbo. You are a gunner. These judge, judges are the enemies of Nigeria and the EFCC. Up to now, even the man with the bullion van is parading himself as a candidate and 
you know, when we talk about the drug issue, that one is even a different thing. But with this issue of bullying, the whole world is aware of what Sinubu did. And they will just be wondering what is happening to the people of this country. And this is a man that even wants to run. They, they, they are pushing forward. They are telling us is the one who is this, who is that. Like people who always talk about uh, Sinubu sickness. To me, I, I know it's important, but to me, that is not even, it's even the list of the baggages that this man is carrying. It's the list. Okay. Tinubu was investigated during PDP governments and tired, but he was discharged and acquitted in the court. Don't just make statements on air with your emotional feelings. No, that is not what we are saying. What of the bullion van issue? It doesn't matter to obedient. Let him go and answer his questions. We'll be that we move. Uh, Nigeria with LD. Why the sudden improvements? How many JTM have they uh, given to Tinubu? I wipe I wait for Nigerians. We are not ready for transformation. APC at work. Sorry for Nigeria. All of this is political. Political. Why now? Loot Nigeria for all you care. As APC member, you are safe and, equal, and qualified to receive national award. How long has this matter been in court? And why the judgment now? More surprises will still come from the judiciary just to make sure that some individuals and political parties are weakened and to give lifelines to those who are showing us Pepe. Our first lady, not long ago, in one of their Lagos uh, Metro, uh, said that as it they suit them, it they Pepe us, and they Pepe us, okay? APC at work. Remain Olu, Oluguagba, and Olugbodinyo, possibly by Adebanjo. Hardly will you see a politician who's, who is not a rogue. All they know to do best is to embezzle public funds want uh, uh, meant for the poor citizens how many years is sunny abacha sentenced to so i will know that of those who impersonated uh, buhari only his office is that he is in the labor party simple okay his offense is that it's in labor party tinubu where the chief legal state one way or the other and other apc politicians they never go convince them now labor party do you cook now they can't convince this country is gone under APC government. Nothing will change our resolve to enthrone good governance through Peter B. The money in question is $2 billion to fight Boko Haram. Your money and my money. The bullion van cash is Tinubu's money. It's not uh, your money. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Whether your money or no money, go and commit a money laundry every way. Because Nigeria is a lawless country. Lord, did they tell you that uh, if it is your money, you can come out and spend it and, and display it anyhow? Or if it is a, 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 stolen, a stolen fund? Stolen fund is a different from money laundry. So come and tell us a rubbish talk. Do you cook you step down from the position of Director General as a matter of integrity? Support uh, and support for continued decency in the Peter Obi presidential campaign council. This will give a no compromise or tolerance of corruption stance to the Peter Obi campaign council. It can continue to work with campaign council from the background. Nigerians will be very happy and encouraged by the action.